Once a week, I'm going to challenge you with a small and simple task. These tasks should take no more than 10 to 15 minutes. And the goal of these challenges is to help you learn not only Godot, but also problem solving. You can access the challenges in real time before I release the solution a week before in my Patreon, link is down below. Last week's challenge was bouncing ball. Your challenge was to create a simple bouncing ball using Godot and using the built-in physics engine. So let's take a look at how we can do that. Welcome everyone to the solution to our bouncing ball problem. Now in this challenge, I basically got you guys to create a bouncing ball, which is not actually that hard. All you need is a rigid body. You need a floor with a static body. And then in that rigid body, you will just need, um, turn that off. I don't think we need that. Uh, you need an area 2D. Now the area 2D, I'll give you the solution in a second, is mainly for, uh, let me just disconnect this. It's for the bouncing itself. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, when I do this, it doesn't bounce, right? So in order to bounce it, I need to flip the linear velocity. That's really it. Now the question kind of becomes, how do I do that? How do I detect when I actually hit the floor? I'm gonna use an area 2D to do that. So I'm gonna connect this. And then in here, I'm just gonna check if I am hitting the floor by using a string. And then I'm just gonna take the linear velocity and make it negative, and that's it. And then I'm gonna divide it by 1.2. You can also do divide by two so we can test it. And now you'll see that it bounces. Now, if I take out that two, you'll see that it actually bounces a lot higher and kind of bounces more, right? So if you want it to not bounce as much, you just divide it by two every time, right? So every time you hit the floor, you just divide it by a certain number. That is pretty much it for the solution. Um, it's very easy, hopefully. Um, the general idea is that you just need a rigid body and that's pretty much it. Um, the basics of a rigid body uses linear velocity with gravity. So by default, linear velocity on the Y axis will be added to our ball. Now, a cool trick we can do is give it a linear velocity on the X and are ready. So now when I play, you'll see that it bounces a bit to the right and then it kind of tapers off though, right? So it stops moving eventually. So obviously you can imagine I can give it more force. Right? So it's just remember that this force is not constant. It's a linear velocity that will reduce back to zero eventually. All right. So that's it for the solution um, for week one challenge. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. It wasn't too difficult, hopefully. Um, I might try to make the challenges a little more challenging over the weeks, uh, but we'll see how things go. And I'm kind of just testing the waters right now. So um, do give me feedback. Do leave a comment down below how you guys found this challenge and um, what you thought about it. So I will see you guys in the next challenge and the solution for the next challenge next week. Bye-bye for now.